Talking right now with the Audubon Boys 4x100 down here at the uh, state track meet after running a, a really good race here today. Let's talk with Jake Mulford who started things off today. Jake, how'd you feel about the event today and how'd you think the start went for you? Uh, I think I started good. I think I came out of blocks. I was a little and nervous after the five and second shot. I thought maybe I jumped or something. But it just turns out flame one did it. But you know, when I came out, I mean, my my legs were a little shot from that 400, just run, running that, not too long. And I, I felt like I was going good. But they are your defending champion. Did you did you feel at any point like you were stronger at, at any point in that race than than anywhere else? I think just. I think I was coming in harder than I usually have, like, all year. I think I, when I was coming in to give it to Colby, I think I was coming in a lot harder than I was. And you know, my blocks looked, thought came out pretty good, too. So, How'd you shake out that, uh, you know, DQ that uh, lane one had gotten uh, and get it out of your mind when it wasn't you? Well, I, I was a little nervous at first until once I found out I wasn't me, I was all good. And I was just ready to get the race going again. Well, Jake, appreciate you joining us here today. Great job today. Thank you. Let's move on now to Colby Rettenberg, who uh, ran that second leg. Colby, how did you feel after the handoff today? Felt pretty good, you know. I uh, felt felt pretty strong, and uh, our handoffs were pretty good, I, I felt. Where did you feel your strongest today? I was towards the end. I was trying to, or towards the middle, I was trying to push it harder to catch up to the kid from Adair Casey right next to me. Did you ever feel like you got going the way you know you can run? Uh, at some point, yeah. Towards that middle, I felt like I was running a little bit better, but I don't know. I, How'd you I'll, try to recover uh, after the distance medley, which was maybe 20 minutes before you ran here? Uh, I just relaxed, you know, just actually kept kept going a little too, you know, kept my legs moving, make sure that they weren't going to cramp up or not. So just kept them relaxed. Colby, what's it been like for you down here at State this year? It's been amazing. I haven't, uh, wouldn't have wanted, wanted to be here with anybody else with these guys. They're, they're an amazing team. Most events we've made it down in for Monaghan and us in a long time. So. Well, I tell you what, Colba, appreciate it, man. It's been great. Thank you. Let's move over now to Trevor Smith, who had to run that third leg today. Trevor, how did you feel? I felt good. This is Colby heat number two. Me and Oswald was probably one of the better ones we've had all year. I felt like I got out pretty team. good. I mean, always hard. past couple weeks we've run the 4 by one We've had the D-Med before, so it just seemed like I'd come out a little slow. Today, little I back stretched out a little bit with Colby, so I was up to steam by the time I got it, so that helped. Did you feel running that eight today in the heat maybe got you a little warmer? Did that help or did that hurt? I mean, a little of both. I was plenty warm. I know that maybe... Legs just weren't quite as fresh as they could have been, I don't think. So right, now we go just where, not, maybe not t complete top speed, but felt pretty good. I mean, where were you at as you came around the curve? Seven, the we were hanging the right in there, I think. We were probably for second, third. I mean, it's hard to tell with those teams on the inside, but I thought felt like I came off the corner pretty good. And then getting to Riley. Well, Trevor, I appreciate you joining us here today. Congratulations. Thank you. Let's move over now to Riley. And Riley, things tough for you right off of the get-go. Had a guy kind of go down right next to you. Yeah. It almost looked like it was going to take you out right there for yeah. a moment. Uh, what was that like? How did you recover from that? That was just that was uh, it was weird. Uh, he went down on my right hand side and started skipping across the track. And me and Trevor, Trevor kind of ran up on me a little bit. So me and Trevor were kind of bunched up anyway. And then I saw that guy kid going down. So you kind of had to look at him, to make sure you weren't going <laughs> to trip over him or something. And then by the time I was past him and realized I had a race to run, it was kind of a little too late. But, did, did you feel like you ever got going after that? No, yeah, no, I, I didn't. If, I mean, I feel it was probably faster than what it felt, but I just feel like I never really grabbed that last gear that I have uh, in other 4x1 races. I hate to talk to you about a bad thing, but how frustrating is that to, to have you know your, your last race maybe here yeah, kind of like that? That's frustrating because uh, we were all planning on, on making finals in that, and... Uh, I mean, it's it's a it's a team thing, but you know, you kind of feel like I just didn't grab that last gear, but I don't know. It's it stinks for sure. Well, Cole but, Riley, you may feel that way. I have a feeling your teammates probably don't feel that way at yeah, all. Yeah, they're 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 good they're good dudes. They won't let me take this take this fall, but uh, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't ask for any other three guys to be here running the D-Med and 4 one with their they're good dudes. Well, I tell you what, you guys have had an amazing season this year. I've had a pleasure kind of watching how you guys have done this year and keeping track of it, so I thank you guys very much and congratulations. Thank you very much.